Material needed. Gloves. To avoid thumb mark on solar cells. Solar cell. Tabbing wires. Soldering lead. Soldering flux for solar cell. Use only this type of soldering iron. The temperature is important and can vary from 360 to 380 degrees Celsius. Soldering iron with temperature control is needed. Do not use this type of soldering iron. There is no temperature control. It can crack the solar cell. Solar cell polarity. All front side are negative. All back side are positive. Preparing the soldering iron. Turn the temperature to 360 to 390 degrees Celsius. Let us open the tabbing ribbon wire and take out the 29.5 centimeters tabbing wire. Prepare the soldering flux. Rub the soldering flux on the solar cell bus bar only. Apply soldering lead only at the end of the solar cell bus bar. It may take time to get used to it when soldering the tabbing wires on the solar cell. And do it slowly and do not press too much pressure on the cell. Repeat the process to all remaining solar cell. These are all the solar cell with tabbing ribbon wire. Step 2. Joining the solar cells in series connection. Materials needed. Solar cell with tabbing ribbon wire, buzz wire with 16.5 cm, soldering lead, soldering flux and weight. The goal in step 2 is to make one row consist of 7 solar cell in series connection. In every first cell in a row, use 16.5 cm tabbing ribbon wire that can be used later in connecting solar cells in series connection. Rub the soldering flux on the solar cell bus bar only. Apply soldering lead only at the end of the solar cell bus bar. In every first solar cell, use only 16.5 cm tabbing wire.
It's very important to apply weight on when soldering at the back side of solar cell. This is the gap divider with 2 millimeters wide. Use the gap divider in between two solar cell or you can make your own gap divider as long as it's 2 millimeters wide. Now join the two solar cell by soldering the tabbing ribbon wire to the back of solar cell bus bar. This is a focus view on how to join two solar cell in series connection. Rub the soldering flux on the solar cell bus bar only. Use a ruler to align two solar cell. Use the gap divider in between two solar cell. And apply weight on the center of the solar cell to avoid bending of the cell during soldering. This is very important. Start soldering at the sides to lock up the space between two solar cells. Remove the gap divider. Continue the process and join seven solar cell in series connection. This is the finished one row solar cell, composed of seven pieces each row. Continue the process and finish the rest of the solar cells. You need to buy a transparent glass with a length of 72 centimeters with a height of 116 centimeters, with a thickness of 5 millimeters. Clean the glass with newspaper and water. This is our circuit diagram of the solar module with 28 cells. This is a person facing the frame. Starting from the right, the arrangement of the one row solar cell must be according to the cell output. Negative positive, negative, positive, negative output on the right side, positive output on the left side. Now let us arrange the solar cells. Negative, This is only a promotional video, but you can watch the video and download in HD for free by visiting our website at www.onesolarx.com. Open your browser and type www.onesolarx.com. This is our website, and in a personal computer view, all tutorial videos are in this page on the PC view. This is a mobile view. The menu is here, and you will find the video tutorial page here. To access our video page, you must be a member to log in. If you're not yet a member, click on register, and it's totally free. Now let us log in. Inside our video tutorial page, you will see free tutorial videos, and in full video length. Watch the videos for free. Or you can download the video in HD, to your phone, for offline watch.
more videos will follow as we journey in this new generation of solar energy. If you have any question, click the messenger icon to contact us. One Solar X, build your solar energy.